So glaucoma is a disease of the optic nerve, which basically resides in the back of the eye. It's an asymptomatic disease, meaning it's silent, patients don't feel the problem, and typically related to high, high eye pressure in the eye. And that pressure can be slightly elevated and slowly damages the nerve fibers of the eye. Eventually, it causes loss of peripheral vision, and eventually, unfortunately, it can cause blindness. In Canada, glaucoma affects about 300,000 people that are known to have glaucoma. But stats have also showed that probably half the people who have glaucoma don't know they have it. So the true incidence of glaucoma is probably much higher. The biggest risk factor for glaucoma is aging. As we get older, our drainage channels in our eyes can decompensate and slowly the pressure can raise. But there are certain risk factors that make people at higher risk. So for example, patients with a family history, uh, patients with African descent, patients who are diabetic, uh, patients who've had multiple surgeries, for example. Comprehensive eye exam includes a number of different aspects. Uh, obviously, taking a proper history, understanding family history and other risk factors are important to start off with. You know, assessing a patient's vision is a very basic point of, you know, point of entry as far as examining a patient's eye. Uh, you know, what the right prescription they may need, making sure that they can see well, far and near. And then the ever important examination into the eye. So we typically use a microscope and, and, and uh, use special lighting systems to examine everything from the front to the back of the eye. And it gives, gives us lots of clues, for example, whether there's any issues with regards to dry eye, any cataract issues that can cause uh, blurring of vision, glaucoma, optic nerve you know, problems, you know, retinal diseases like diabetic uh, retinopathy, diabetes in the eye, or macular degeneration are all things that can be visualized. That's the beauty of the eye, that we can visualize many issues that may happen before they actually become bigger problems. So unfortunately, glaucoma, it's not clear what causes glaucoma. So sometimes it's very hard to know how do we actually prevent it. But there are certain things that can be helpful. For example, smoking we know can be detrimental for not only glaucoma, but other eye diseases as well. So, you know, smokes, if one smokes, you know, great to stop smoking amongst other health benefits. You know, fitness and lifestyle also play a role. And more evidence is growing that taking care of our bodies, physical fitness, uh, cardiovascular fitness, you know, keeping a good weight, these actually have been shown to actually keep pressures in the eye at a good level. And of course, avoiding extremes you know, avo avoiding excessive alcohol intake, uh, be, you know, watching caffeine intake if it's excessive, things like that, you know, probably play some role as far as protecting the eye in many ways. But ultimately, the most important aspect of our eye care is really, you know, proper surveillance, proper monitoring by an eye care professional who knows what they're doing, who can examine the eye. There's yet no easy way to, you know, prevent, you know, and stop, you know, many of the diseases from occurring. But early prevention by early detection is the most effective way to really prevent blindness, or prevent serious visual loss.